Welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. Just got out of the church in Mad Muster Mansion, now we gotta do... Yeah, the rest. Just imagine Banjo and Kazooie coming out of a church and it just being a hellscape. They got married, didn't they? Well, yeah. I mean, it's accepted nowadays, but probably back in these times... It's accepted? Uh, really? Oh, I don't know. So, man, I haven't Baron really th buried? I haven't thought about Banjo Kazooie too much since this Let's Play, so I mean, I haven't really been keeping up on the on the lore or the big ultimate fan theories that have been circulating around. Are Banjo and Kazooie married? Let me have a 15 minute video telling you why with seven ads in it. 15 minutes? <laughs> seven ads. Brevity is the soul of wit, and there is no wit on YouTube. I'm talking two and a half hours of straight raw facts. Okay. If you're spitting hot, raw facts like that about Banjo and Kazooie being a couple, let me grab some popcorn because this is going to be a shit show. <laughs> I can't wait. No, oh, come on. Speak to me all the facts, you lovely theorist you, and show me why I'm wrong. I need, like, uncut interviews of the creators talking about, yeah, they're probably a couple or something. <laughs> couple of buddies. Wait a minute, they <laughs> said buddies. Do you know the connotations that has? Or like, you know, uh, t take this expose from Grant Kerpope. And, 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 he's, and he's like, uh, they're probably a couple or something. <laughs> <laughs> Poorly cut together. <laughs> Audacity. <laughs> I think that they're fucking... <laughs> Grant! <laughs> well, that's gotta be simple facts, then. It is canon. <laughs> yeah, the developers that went on to make ukulele are just being like, why would you even... Get, get out of here. And then... <laughs> now that one, they explicitly say that they're together. Maybe. What the... Get the- uh, Yeah, there we go. There. There's, there's the jiggy. Alright. So if Banjo-Kazooie aren't a thing, what about Yuka and Laylee? Th th they might be, who knows. Is that mutual? Or is that just like, you know, hey, a partnership in 8 to 5, you know, I'll be your friend for this amount of time. They seem to have pretty good synergy together. Alright. And the thing is, Laylee doesn't even have a backpack to get into when she's sick of Banjo's shit. Banjo or Yuka? Well, that's what I mean, you know. Oh, I get it. Because we can get into the backpack. He's like, Banjo, right, right. You're, you're you're stupid. Shut the fuck up and just <laughs> back in the backpack. It's like, oh, Kazooie, I didn't mean nothing by it. I think that my favorite part is Kazooie would actually say that. <laughs> <laughs> Banjo, you're a fucking idiot. I'm going back into the backpack. <laughs> just no no clever wordplay. No, you're just, a like, fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> stupid bear. Kazooie, man, the kids are playing this. Yeah, well, fuck them too. <laughs> Kazooie, my god. Yeah, you know who plays this? Stupid fucking kids who grow up to be fucking rejects. <laughs> they'll go on to do a Let's Play Correct, channel. Yeah, and they'll run up <laughs> YouTube channels and they'll go by letters <laughs> instead of actual names. <laughs> oh, can, can I tell you a really funny comment I recently got? What's that? Okay, so uh, remember back to when we re did uh, Spyro Reignited? Yes. And I made a joke that was clearly making fun of my name when it showed up. Mm-hmm. The commenter confused us, for one, and thought your name was my real name. <laughs> but then they found out, somehow, that my last name was also in the game and thought my first name is my last name. <laughs> so they're kind of partially right. So you know what we say? On the money, dude. Yep, you, got you got it. it. You, yep, yep, confirmed. Uh, people will never... I don't think they'll ever catch on to what our real names are. I mean, my name is clearly Banjo, and you are, in fact, Kazooie. I'm finding Kazooie is my spirit animal, because I'm playing these with a bit more cynicism in mind. <laughs> and Kazooie is the perfect level of cynicism. Perfect. And it's like, oh, there's Bottles, he's gonna teach us a move. And I'm like, what the fuck do you want, Bottles? And Kazooie's like, what the fuck do you want, Bottles? And I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> Kazooie, please! <laughs> So here's how you get in through the uh, mansion, but oh. you need to do it uh, very, very carefully. And ow, ow, ow. Okay. Do you have to take damage for that one? No, I, I just. You didn't just, do you it, just right? did a. Did and thing. I messed that up entirely! Ooh, wow! Awesome. Wonderfully done, UDJ. Hey, uh, didn't we miss, uh, miss a honeycomb piece? Yeah, we did, but we can't get under there. I'm trying to do as much as we can first before we turn into Mumbo. Gotcha. Oh, I see. So now we have to go all the way back to the roof? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the roof. 
Good job, my friend. Good job, you did it. Good job. <laughs> it, was, it was getting footage too quick, so I didn't have a big plan of what to do next. So I'm just kind of ah, okay. Maybe we'll just get back up there and yeah, everyone in there. Um, uh, is this where the cynicism comes in? <laughs> well, cynicism is being replaced with uh, panic. <laughs> I like, get up there. Come on. Gotta have a show to do. You just gotta get up there. No, Banjo, no! no! Get up there! <laughs> see, see, now I, I I can actually see somebody drawing us as Banjo and Kazooie. I can see you as a bitchy bird. <laughs> oh, I am a bitchy bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just realized bird is another name for woman <laughs> in Britain. Oh, that's actually perfect. Alright, just a simple jump. I need to do the, yep. ba the Simple back jumps. Back. Show me. Let's do this. Take care of the big thing first. Yoink! Well, I guess I'm doomed. Up your ass! <laughs> oh. Okay. Napper, my sweet sod, you're out of luck! Now pray to God! You stupid fuck! <laughs> Grunty, game for kids! Come on! You're nothing but a loser, a dork, and a runt! <laughs> Next Grunty? No. No no, no! 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 You know, I just realized oh, there are a lot of M rated games. Bad guys don't swear a lot. I mean, they're the bad guys. And I'm getting to the point where my, one of my favorite lines from Pirates of the Caribbean is in the uh, first sword duel where Jack Sparrow clearly cheats. Mm. It's like, you cheated. Uh, pirate. <laughs> why, <laughs> why don't the villains just go, uh, villain. Hello? Why did you kill her? Because I'm the bad guy. Uh, I'm, I'm a villain. On. Where have you been this entire game? Alright, mumbo time? Almost. Almost mumbo time? There's some notes over here to get. Uh -huh. As I'll take the time to try and get them now. Line up the shot. Yeah! And... Good job. Good job. There's not too many notes left. Just a few here and there. Right now, I'm just trying to go through every bit and get what we can. There's a lot to do. There's actually a lot to do as a during Mumbo's part. Oh, good. They should get us back around. Seeing Mad Monster Mansion again makes me realize I have the patience to do Donkey Kong 64. How the hell did I not have the patience to do this? You like Donkey Kong? You didn't care for Banjo? Well, I will say the everything talking is one of the reasons I hated ukulele, and then they fixed that, so... Or at least made it more tolerable. So, I don't know, maybe I was still sour over ukulele. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I will say, seeing this again makes me really want to play it, so I blame you. Well, sorry, I make you want, I make you want to play good games, I mean... A good here. game is very debatable. I think we should really take a deep dive and see why Banjo-Kazooie is one of the best games on the Nintendo 64. Does Banjo-Kazooie still hold up? You know, a game that everyone has talked about and they think that this guy is going to add in something new. Does Banjo and Kazooie does his gay? Find out in my video. I'm doing a review, a much anticipated review of the original Banjo Kazooie. It's, like, it's probably good. Well, I don't think it's very good. It doesn't hold up as much because well, it's a game from like 20 years ago. What do you expect? <laughs> I mean, even when Microsoft took it over in 2008 or 9, uh, it still has issues of the time. They did fix a few things, which is good. Actually, Rare didn't even work on this game. Was there a port studio that worked on this, then? Studio J worked on the port. They're the guys who did the Minecraft ports. Interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know that until the credits. Ah. One. So I guess they just had Rare's blessing, I guess? I, I think they helped on some matters, but they were the guys who probably did the extra oh cleaning. Oh my god, dude, come on. There we go. <laughs> Get me up there. Get, don't, don't be get me up there. Come on. There was nothing up here. I knew it. Oh, there we go. Well, it's, it's good to just check, all right? <laughs> now we're going to be something spooky. All right. Show me spooky. Ghost? Oh, 
What? Oh, sorry, that was a mistake. Uh, okay. Uh, time for the real thing now. There we go. Oh, a little, a little jack o' lantern guy. Little, little, little pumpkin. Aww. That's actually adorable. What this means is that we are defenseless, but we can get into smaller bits now. Ah. I did see a few, like, holes around the area. So, let's go. Yeah, that's essentially what, you're, what we're going for here. So, let's see. There's a spot around here for starters. I would love it if you're just going around as Pumpkin, and then the other protagonist of Banjo-Kazooie comes in and accidentally steps on you as you're going through this. Uh, 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 oops. Ooh. Or, uh, 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 oops. Bunch more notes. We wait, wait, Jiggy. Oh, we have to fall into it, don't we? Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. Forgot how the hell to get up there though, because you can't climb up there. You're a pumpkin. Hey, you. Y you're a walking pumpkin with eyes. You can't climb. Come on, be realistic. You have pants and a backpack. How can you climb up there? Come on, game designers. What's up with this? Where's the real? Where's the realism in my Banjo Kazooie game? Realism was all they talked about in the, in the N64 era, right? <laughs> this is all they were going for. Yep. Not having to fix camera angles? No, sir. It's all about the realism, man. But the N64 had ray tracing. Give it enough port jobs. <laughs> Eventually, wonder, we'll get to it. I wonder if anybody has overclocked their N64 to make it work as best as it possibly can. Like, I bet you anything there's videos out there. There has to be. It's like, it's like making a Windows 98 PC with, like, a, 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 you know, AMD 7090 <laughs> or whatever. We've uncompressed the N64 cartridges <laughs> to see how much we can get this clocked in. Ocarina of Time at 20 frames per second. Not anymore! Now it's 120 frames per second! Oh my god, Ocarina of Time at 120 frames a second! I'm in heaven! That game runs like molasses! You know what else runs like molasses? This Banjo game <laughs> Where the hell are you going? I don't know! Come Every on, pumpkin I'm man! I'm lost! I'm a pumpkin! <laughs> I'm lost and alone and afraid! <laughs> Where are my pumpkin brethren to help me through my these trying times? Oh, I'm there gonna it be is. made through a spicy latte. <laughs> I don't want to die in Starbucks. No. Well, here's how you get up to the mansion, basically. Oh, nice. And anywhere else in the maze you want to drop into, but you can only get to that area with the pumpkin. So there is that. Pumpkin is no trouble on no trouble on slopes either. Well, that's good. Because, in reality, he would just roll down. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. And Jiggy. Shlunk. We cannot jump high enough to get that Jiggy, I don't think. Well, it's too late now. Where's your sense of experimentation, dude? Went out the window when the record <laughs> button started. <laughs> hey, here, here's all the ideas I had. Yeah, I got out there. <laughs> Panic. Panic. Oh god, it's taking too long! This is also me panicking, realizing that, oh my god, I'm gonna have to cut this up into two videos. But I ah. haven't decided to cut it up into two videos yet. Gotcha. So I'm like, if I hurry, I can- Oh man, it's 40 minutes long now, I can't do this! <laughs> It'll just be under 50 minutes! You think, well, I could make it all one video, but I'm not gonna do that to you. So there's that. Excellent. I feel a lot better now that you've gotten that. We're getting everything, no worries. Okay. Speaking of uh, panicking while recording, have I ever told you my recording process? Do tell. And what has happened in the past? It was around the time of New Super Mario Bros. 2, where I was fully intending to... Oh, wait. Hold on. This is important. Yes, it is important. Going down into a toilet. Down the shitter. That, yeah, yep, yep, it, oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. yummy. Oh, yummy. Yeah, well, that's all ten jiggies. That's good. How do we get out? Well, uh, the way we came in, you know. <laughs> Go back up the toilet. 
gross. Just, oh, disgusting. Just, oh, it's oh, gross, oh. Rare. I can't believe you went in there! <laughs> now wash your hands, filthy bear! Okay, right into the bath water. But, uh, anyway. I don't think I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's the true horror of Mad Monster Mansion. Alright, uh, what left? Just the last uh, notes, right? I don't think we got all the notes yet. Was... Hmm. I think they're inside. Let me think. Well, while you're thinking, I had fully intended on doing a lot of Let's Plays live, and then something spooks me, and then all of a sudden I do it post-commentary. <laughs> like, new Super Mario Brothers. I started that first episode like five different times, trying to come up with topics just to describe how the game works. I freeze up, kind of give up, and then go, you know what, post-commentary, let's do this. Sometimes when I do live stuff, I just don't have the mojo, and I restart after like five or ten minutes. It sucks. And then I do the episode, and I still don't have the mojo. <laughs> anyway, I need to go back and be the bird again. Actually, I think my new favorite thing are the hybrid post and and uh, live let's plays. Yeah. Especially when I have to focus. It's just something about looking over at the guy to your right and seeing if he's about to crack up or not. Like now. God damn it. It's not my fault I start smiling when people look at me. Huh? It's just, it's just natural. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Here's looking at you. Oh. I, I'm a happy boy. Until the game sucks, and then I'm an unhappy boy. So where are those notes? Just... Oh, they're up here. Oh my god, just really? Out of, out of view of the you camera. Right there. 90, 88, 99. Oh my god. 100. Uh, yeah, all right. Oh my god, UDJ. I know. Uh, this is kind of unbelievable. Like, like for well, real. hey, at least we're done. Like right? For, like for real, man. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to Mad Monster Mansion. It's going to be pretty great. All right. Pumpkin? You still got some fun things left to do here. Oh. Do we have to leave and come back or whatever? They all involve a pumpkin. We have to remain as the pumpkin. We go over to a carving station and then, oh no. <laughs> the well, I mean, he, he's got the top off, so he's already been carved. He's already got the eyes, he's already been carved. Maybe it's not the pumpkin he possesses, but like the, the, the shell of the pumpkin. There's no seeds inside or anything. The spirit inside. There's the entrance. Uh, it's over there. Entrance! There it is. But entrance! Uh, thank you, camera. There we go. Alright. So if we broke down the door over there earlier... Uh, we can get through there, no problem. Please uh, don't get squished. Ow! Wait, it doesn't, like, squish you like a womp? It just steps on me. Well, that's mean. It just runs at me and yells at me like it's all my fault. Oh, I didn't even see this. Very nice. So we get in here. I don't know why Banter just can't roll in there or use his hands to open the door. But you know what? Whatever. I'm not the one who's the game character here. We have Mojo. Or Mo <laughs> Mumbo Jumbo. Mojo Jojo! Mumbo Jumbo, who uses his mojo there to, we bring go. It, to put us back as uh, the Baron Bird. Uh, well, trying to maybe. And there we go. Okay. open the coffin, and then... Oh, oh. Yep, never made it here. So we're getting into all new stuff? It we should be, yeah. Oh, we still got more stuff to do. Not done yet. Banjo, please, don't attack Mumbo Jumbo. Pumpkin making Mumbo. No, no, you will not, you will not. I'm getting out of here. The real mad monster of Mad Monster Mansion. Man. Can't imagine Mad Monster, just a Muppet. He's just grumpy, just... <laughs> I can't believe I didn't have my favorite pumpkin spice espresso today. You mean it's out of season? I don't believe it. Come on. Uh, I love the fact that Sesame Street te teaches me about homelessness and how one of their Muppets has been living in a trash can for about 50 years. <laughs> 
I look at Oscar the Grouch and go, hey, that's me one day. Yeah, but I'm not under the constraints of the <laughs> man, man! I am garbage. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, oh, you're about to get roasted. Yeah. Careful. Time to Careful. make pumpkin pie out of this bear. Careful. We we, we, we got time. We, oh, we decided God. we're doing a second episode now. So, all right. Let's take. Pretend let's take time. we're doing another episode. Do not get roasted. Yeah. Yeah. Carefully. Dude, careful. Yeah. Don't fall. Yeah. Careful. Right. Okay. For until to uh, kick him. Uh, 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 easy as pumpkin pie, God baby. Damn it! We already talked to you. Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom, bedroom has, has rotting, rotting fish. fish hanging. I think we have uh, seen this one. I think we have. Well, it's good for a refresher course. She also has a loogie bag. Yeah, yeah I remember this uh, one because. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she also likes to. <laughs> She also plays weeby anime games. Oh, God. Oh, you poor dears. You played weeb games, too? Let me <laughs> heal you from that. <laughs> Look, I don't play the ones that, you know, have good combat and all that. <gasps> Cheeto again! Oh! Dangerously cheaty. Cheeto Baron Bird have found once more another spell they get. Galore. <laughs> so he's gonna give us yet another cheat. A, a legal cheat. Red feathers! Not infinite feathers. 200 feathers? 200, well, 100 feathers. Oh, okay. See, I never knew these Cheeto books were in here. Because they hit him well. Apparently. Either that or I didn't care too much. Could be either or. See, a lot of them, you gotta be, like, uh, in another form or, or, or something. You gotta be a Cheeto yourself. Of course, yes. Ah! And oh, I got so, what I came for! And so he died. Poor pumpkin. Alright, let's just uh, make our way to Treasure Trove Cove and enter the cheat. Oh. Yup. 35 jiggies, that's crazy. Oh, too far. So that should be a hint that Cheeto's over there, because this way, the magic will run out, but the other way... Oh, that's I so much. I'm understanding the nuances of this game. Alright. Kind of ridiculous, we gotta do this every time we wanna enter a cheat, but... You know what? It's okay. At least you don't have to collect all the notes again. That is true. Alright, Cheeto. Mr. Cheaty Face. All right, it's time to spell. R for E for D for F. F is for forgetting. E is for eating. A is for ah. T is for too much time to think of rhymes. H is for help me. E is for energizer, R is for right now, S, S is for say, we got a hundred feathers! Cool. Now, we can, now we can fly twice as long! Woohoo! It's making me sick. Fly to me, you wretched dick! Well, next time on Banjo Kazooie, we're moving on to the next stage, a very infamous one Rusty Bucket Bay.